it, buried in the middle of all this was the announcement that uh, Kamala Harris, our vice president, is going to lead the immigration effort. She's going to lead the border investigation. Uh, and there's a lot of voices out there that said that she wasn't selected to be vice president. He ended up with her at vice president, that the whole mechanism and the whole— uh, Say that one more time. He was what? She was not supposed to? She was not selected by him to be vice president. He ended up with her at vice president because the whole Democrat— party apparatus was like hey we got to have a woman we need sure. a woman of color there's a lot of good reasons for that sure. so that every little girl in america could look up and say hey look i can become vice yep. president i can mm -hmm. do that that's very very positive but there are forces out there to say hey you know biden ended up with her he didn't necessarily want her and the best place to her there's now voices saying hey is she being set up to fail did you hear some of this yesterday yeah what do you think being said, the, the appointments that she was... Yeah, there's Democrat voices that are saying, hey, she shouldn't be in charge of immigration. They're like, this is a leadership issue. You should. Is she being set up to fail? I, I don't think she's being set up to fail. I just think she was selected by others. I don't think she was selected by Biden. I agree with you there. Yep. Let, me, let me ask you. Do you think uh, Obama picked Biden? Let, let me ask the question a different way. Let me ask the question this way. Here's a better way of asking a question. What percentage of Obama picking Biden was him? So you can say, I think it's 70-30 Obama, or 50-50 Obama, 50% the DNC, okay? Well, I was, I was a, a, a freshman senator, but I, <laughs> I remember meeting Joe. Good guy, friendly guy, effective in the Senate, long tenure, and uh, it was about 62.5% my decision. So you're, you're going to say, so you're going to say majority was Obama's decision? I think, major I think the majority was Obama's decision, but he was heavily influenced because he was walking into a room he'd never been before. This is a freshman senator. Yeah. I, I think, yeah. so. okay, let's say 62% is what you're saying. What would you say? I was going to say 75, 25. Oh, so you yeah. think it's him picking no, Biden? No, no, The, the other the way part, The party okay. picking it, yeah. How about you go to uh, uh, Trump? Do you think he picked Pence, or no. do you think somebody else picked I, Pence I, for him? I think somebody else picked Pence for him. What do you think is a percentage with him and Pence? I, I would say the same percentage, because who can really uh, be the parent in the room when it, come, when it came to Trump? Okay, what do you think, Tom? Pence. Uh, I think Pence was a safe, vanilla choice. He got a lot of uh, help doing, but I don't think anybody tells Donald Trump what to do so so okay so you're mm. saying uh 90 percent trump 10 percent whoever told them that That's these are exactly your options right. hey, hey, hey donald, okay. donald donald i can see Look, that you need an ohio you need an ohio indiana guy to balance it off you're a new yorker let's get an ohio indiana midwest guy appealing great to choice by the way if christian, you think about it christian guy yeah. not a lot of controversy let's see if you can go with that donald all right let me think about that okay did bush pick his vp george w george w what percentage? Uh, I think the Bush political family was well established, yeah. and I don't think they needed help from the yeah. Republican Party. And I think they picked Dick Cheney for a lot of reasons. Do you think he picked it, or the family picked Dick Cheney? I think he got a lot of help from Papa. So, what percentage was uh, was Bush? I think Bush was probably about twenty five percent. Okay, so so was probably his dad. Okay, so Clinton picking Gore, who picked them? What percentage uh, is Bill Clinton picking Gore? Mm. I think the same thing. I think the Democrat Party said, hey, okay. you know, you're Southern. You know, this guy's a good senator. He's got more experience than you do. You're just a governor. Remember, he was just a governor. Yep. You get a guy from Washington. From Arkansas. So. And then so you took this neutral Tennessee guy that didn't have a lot of controversy, Gordon. Remember? People, now, I, I don't think in those positions, anybody, regardless of what party, I don't think the presidential candidate has much of a selection of who the one is the Vice President, I, I I think some some is more than others. I think, think some so? is more than I fully yeah. believe some is more than others. Like I fully believe uh, a you know a, 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 what do you call it a Reagan is a guy that went in saying hey here's kind of who I like uh, uh, to be my guy and he was given feedback by James Baker with his options and they sit there and they process it and then he says here's who I'm picking okay great so and there's a lot of negotiation on picking as well like when uh, Kennedy picked Lyndon Johnson it was all strategy because Lyndon Correct. Johnson hated Kennedy so Kennedy wanted to get rid of one of his biggest enemies his right. number one enemy which is who and the fastest way to turn an enemy into an ally is to what hey will you be my VP right. and he says I really don't want to be your VP man you know yeah. the hell with you I should be the president you should even consider being my VP, but I get it. Let's make this work. And so they needed he, Texas, but, so the electoral vote math was there. Remember, that thing was close. Yeah, so here's the magical question. West Virginia. What percentage of Biden was him picking Kamala? Uh, 20%. 25%. I disagree. I totally disagree. Zero percent? What do you think it was on your— So you think it's, it, it, it's the party? 
I think it's zero yeah. percent yeah. Biden picking Kamala. Yeah. I, I think, and the reason why it's zero percent is because Biden didn't win the election; the party did. Correct. Biden didn't win the election. Trump won the election. Okay. Bill Clinton won the election. If you think about that, Bush, the party won the election. I, I, I don't know if I'm sure, making sure, sense. Yeah. No, yeah. Right. So, Clinton so the was point, a campaigner, yeah, man. Clinton, Clinton was, was a, a beast, right? Yeah. I, I also think Obama had a lot of same pick in Biden yep. because Obama won the election. When, when Obama ran for office, don't forget, everybody was banking on who? Hillary to win. Okay, They weren't saying Obama's going to win. It was like Hillary's going to win. So Obama won that election. So whoever wins the election, I feel, has more of a say on who becomes their VP. Than the party. Versus whoever, whatever party wins it and they choose the candidate, the party chooses who's going to be your VP. I think Biden was 0% him choosing Kamala. Kamala. Biden was just told, Kamala's your VP. What do you think the percentage of somebody picking a VP just to get over the finish line or versus somebody that would be a good fit for them for the four years? Well, okay, so if you go back and think about who the VP candidates were for uh, for uh, uh, Biden, who were some of the ones that were good candidates? Uh, it was the do you Rice, remember the names? S- Rice, Rice, exactly. Who else? Yep. Kamala Harris, obviously. Okay. If you have um, a choice between Susan Rice and Kamala Harris, who do you go with? Are you 50-50? Yeah, I'm probably 50-50 because I'm not really a big fan of either one of them. Um, you know, Minnesota would have been a great choice. Minnesota would have been a great choice. Klobuchar? Okay, yeah. Minnesota or Michigan? No, Minnesota. Oh, Minis- Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said the— uh, uh, Yeah, that's, that's what I thought you said. Uh, I thought Tulsi would have been an, an amazing choice. They would have never picked Tulsi. Because Tulsi they, says what's on her mind. They wouldn't have. You're asking me. Yeah. I, as an American, I yeah. would look there and saying, you know, veteran leading a state, even though it's why I, I would have admired that choice. Yeah. So to go back to it, when you're asking a question about Kamala Harris, did you hear about what Kamala Harris did yesterday? Like uh, uh, working on uh, women and uh, women empowerment. You know who he, she reached out to for advice? Who's that? Bill Clinton. Wow. What? <laughs> Is that confusing or what? Am I the only one that's – have you guys seen this or no? Can you pull up Kamala Harris, ask Bill Clinton for advice, and the media flipped out. Like, she she's – just put Bill what, Clinton – watch angle? this here. Watch this here. Kamala Harris and Bill Clinton touting girl empowerment. Okay, can you – like, that just makes no – By the way, and – Kamala Please. Harris and Bill Clinton touting girls empowerment together is a bad, bad joke. joke. Which news? Why Which can't, news, baby? Which news? By the way, this is NBC. Correcto. Which, why can't the Democratic Party quit the former president? If the party is truly going to welcome women, it has to get rid of the political milestone around its neck. Millstone. Millstone, millstone, millstone around its neck. So I just, I just don't understand why. That's <laughs> just so confusing. Does that look good for the party, by the way? No. Well, frankly, I'm glad that any woman calls me anymore. <laughs> you know, oh, closing of, in on 80 here. Of course, they had to put that video in there, you know, about the Clinton affair. But by the well, way, this is NBC putting this out wow. there. This is not like anybody yeah. else putting this yeah. out there, right? Yeah, this, so This isn't Drudge or Fox here, no. No, this that's is, that's NBC that's News. my boys. Can, that we see, can we see what was the, what the CNN said about the headline here? Go go to different headlines. Just go back. What CNN would say? So that? what did Fox News say? So, okay, President – okay, now go back. Well, go no, back. Fox is going to say. Just go back to where you were before. Kamala Harris to hold discussion with Bill Clinton on empowering women and girls. Okay, Fox News is actually very neutral. Yeah. NBC News took the shot. This is a bad joke. Market Watch. Kamala Harris and Bill Clinton are holding a talk about women empowerment. Can you kind of go to what the rest of the line is? I mean, what? Q. Uh, 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 Biden. That's what, oh, they don't even have it here. How funny is that? Everything we put in the search doesn't come down in the news. None of it matches the new. Did you see that? Go back and go back and do that again. Yeah, no, no. What does that have to do with what we search? Interesting. Wait, go. Wait, I'm confused here. Uh, this Google. We guys have don't in like the me. search Kamala Harris asks Bill Clinton for advice. We click on news. None of the links that come up is about what you searched on Google. Hmm. Go, go, the Google go, algorithm doesn't seem to want America to see the uh, Clinton story, do they? Go, go back up. Go back up to all. Okay, I guess. Now try, okay, use the same exact, copy paste exactly what you have and go to Yahoo. It's kind of interesting. What yeah. the search engines are. I'm curious. Yeah. Let's see what they say here. Just copy paste. 
Okay. VP Slater 101 with Bill Clinton, the Blaze. Okay, so the Blaze is at the top. Fair enough. They put the Blaze at the Go top. Go to the Washington is- Examiner. Rose McGowan asks if Kamala Harris has a soul. Wow. Do you even have a Co- soul? Click on that. Click on that. Click on that. Actress and feminist. Rose McGowan asks if Kamala Harris has a soul after agreeing to obscene event with Bill Clinton on empowering women. Wow. That's not good, guys. That's I mean, these are all the people that defended Clinton, wanted yeah. to keep so him there because he was their guy. You well, know? no, Rose McGowan, if you know who she is, she's a. Uh, um, this is obscene, Kamala Harris. You speaking with Bill Clinton about empowering women and girls is disgusting. Have you no soul? Have you no ethics? Ask him about being on an island of human trafficking victims 27 times. You were showing us exactly who you are. Go back. Go back and let's see what other sites will say. You know, as I analyze that from Rose McGowan, I have a, a small sense that's kind of growing on me that she's upset. Yeah. Go, a little lower. go a little lower go a little lower go a little lower okay david ike.com comes up well you got to be kidding me what okay. the hell was he doing yeah. <laughs> look at that all right so you know so i i i don't know the the question i would have is who the hell is advising them right now that's what i'm asking so Maybe. you have a meeting and you say i'm thinking about putting a girl empowerment meeting together oh you should call bill Bing. clinton exactly by the way do you, should be do, a red you know, flag. do you know how the media knows this huh the media knows this because every day, oh, you know, there are agendas yeah. that are put out for the POTUS. What's POTUS doing today? And the media is given an agenda. He will be here going here. And then there's things they leave up the agenda and they get criticized because there is a billion dollar donor that was at the White House during that half hour. You yeah. know what I'm talking about, Matt? Yeah. So now yeah, sure. the vice president of the United States agenda had that on it. Mm-hmm. The only way they find out about this is either Clinton leaks it or it was already on the activity agenda that's given to the media so they can cover the uh president and vice president it's common sense so it means that to your point who's advising them there's also somebody in there yeah yeah we'll put the clinton thing on there what's the worst that could happen if there's any criticism if she wanted a private conversation with bill clinton could she have it private meaning just make a phone call nobody knows you're talking to them correct absolutely sure so wait you're saying somebody set them up is what you're saying no no no. i'm saying that her team you're asking who's advising and i'm like that instinct i think is absolutely correct here because her daily agenda that's released to the media, if I was her advisor, I would say, you know, you shouldn't put Stretch. that phone call on there. Have a private phone call, get political, you know, advice from him on how to manage these situations. But for the love of God, I mean, but what advice could he give? What him. advice could he really give her? So spin it. Actually, actually yeah. think your yeah. Kamala and spin it. Spin yeah. it. I'm a media masculine, and I'm not, I'm not saying be funny about it. Yeah. I'm not being comical. I'm, I'm actually saying spin it. Spin it and say... Hey, uh, uh, Vice President Kamala Harris, out of all the people you could have chosen to speak to about the the matter of women empowerment, you have Oprah Winfrey. You have, uh, you know, uh, uh, Michelle Obama. You have, uh, you know— Even uh, Hillary. Hillary Clinton. You have Susan Rice. You have— you have a, you have a number of women to yeah. go to. You have daughters. Yeah. <laughs> why, yeah, daughter, uh, right? m- Miss yeah. M- Vice President Kamala Harris? Why, why President Bill Clinton with the reputation that he has? I don't know how to spin it because I don't know why. With that list yeah. you just made, he would be number eighty-seven on my political advice. List. One thousand million eighty-seven. <laughs> Yeah. So, how, but how do you actually try to yeah. spin that one? How do you spin yeah. that one? I think it was just incredibly bad judgment, Tom. That can't. That I. I don't buy that. I. I don't buy that because. I. I. I have a hard time buying that. I have a hard time buying. Well, he's the. Sh- he is a shrewd politician and very smart strategically, politically, but still. The consequence is this that we just saw. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.